I've been using Caden Live for about three months, and one of the major pain points I have is that there's no easy way to do easing for transforms. You're sort of restricted to doing everything linearly. However, there is a popular project that can generate keyframes for easing transforms, and I was super excited to use it until I ran into installation issues that were preventing me from getting it working. Since the project code was actually pretty simple, I created a website that has the same functionality, but because it's a website, it doesn't involve installation and it should work better cross-platform. I definitely want to acknowledge Chocolate Image for doing most of the work here with their project, as they put in the effort to figure out how to generate these keyframes. I just transitioned their code base from Python to TypeScript, and set it up with React as a frontend instead of Qt5. Okay, so let's go over a simple example. Let's just have a color clip slide out of frame, but with some easing to make it smoother. In Caden Live, after we've created our color clip, we can add it to the timeline, and then we're going to copy it. I'm gonna use Control C here. And then in the Caden Live easings website that I've created, we can simply paste this clip into this box here. It'll automatically infer the length and FPS of the clip. Now we can choose whatever function we want to ease out of the screen. I'm going to use a cubic ease in out easing. And since we're just gonna slide out to the left, I'm going to have it start in frame, so at X zero, and it's gonna go all the way to negative 1920 because that would be completely out of frame because the width of the clip is 1920. Now that we've done that, the keyframes over here have updated. We can click on the text, Control C, go back to Caden Live, add a transform to the color clip, go to this here, import keyframes from clipboard, and we can see that it's imported them here. Only thing we need to do here is turn off limit keyframe number. And now we can see that it's imported all the keyframes. And let's play that back and see how that worked out. The playback's a little choppy, but that's just because it's the preview window. Now let's do something a bit more complex. Let's have a clip bounce into the frame. We're gonna use two transforms for this. We're gonna use one transform to move the clip from completely out of frame and completely into frame linearly in the X direction. And then we're going to use a bounce ease type transition to do the Y direction. So we can just set this first keyframe to be negative 1920 to be completely out of frame. And then we're going to add another transform. And this is the one that we're gonna to use to do our Y. Now for this, what we want is to use a bounce ease out transition. Now we want to start completely out of frame and for the Y direction, that's also gonna be negative. Let's start at like negative 1000. It's not fully out of frame, but pretty close to being out of frame. And then we're gonna end up, we're not gonna modify the X, so the X is gonna stay the same for this transition. And we're gonna end up at Y equals zero. Copy this. You can see that it's generated here. Don't limit the keyframe numbers. And let's see how that looks. So yeah. I will quickly say that there are a couple limitations to this tool, uh, some of which are just inherent limitations of generating keyframes like this. Um, one is that the transform keyframes don't contain rotation. I have some ideas for how I might do keyframes for rotation, um, but that'd be in a future update. And the last thing is that this isn't an official solution. Uh, Caden Live could update and completely break this tool. Uh, I use Caden Live quite a bit and I usually stay on the most recent version, so it shouldn't be an issue because I'd be updating it as soon as Caden Live comes out and I see that it's broken. Um, but that is something to keep in mind. I do have this project hosted on GitHub and it's fully public. So feel free to open issues for features that you'd want or to add some changes yourself. I don't know how often I'll do this sort of video. This was just sort of a one-off thing because I was frustrated while editing a different video, but I hope that you like the tool and go out there and do some easing.